Welcome to DevOps interview preparation part eight. If you are watching this video for the first time, then I would like to let you know, know that there are seven other videos in my channel, which you can go and see all the other questions I have discussed. All of these questions are coming from my students and myself who have experience in DevOps and what kind of questions can appear in the interview. Do wait till the end of the video if you do, I will let you know how you can reach out to me for any DevOps related career discussion for free. Okay, let's see what kind of questions will appear in this video and how to answer them. The first question is coming from the domain GitHub and the question is, what is Git log? What information in Git log helps you? Now, if you are preparing yourself for a DevOps interview, and you have taken a training or you have worked in an IT company, you are aware of what is GitHub, right? There is a command that we can use called as git log, which will help you to do a lot of things. And that is what the interviewer is expecting from you in this particular question. You can pause this video here and try to see how you can answer it, but let me go ahead and try to explain a bit more about git log and then how to answer this particular question in the interview. First of all, git logs is a command that will help you to explain the current state of your repo with respect to the commits and other information. I have shared a screenshot here or an image here from Atlassian, and you can see the output of git logs will look something like this. So here it is saying that this is the master commit, right? And after that, there were some previous commits that were added. And then based on this, it was merged and there are other future commits that are being added. Where will Git log help you? Maybe there is a situation in the future where you have to go back in history and pick certain kinds of commits only and build your application, which is very common. In this case, you want to know when these commits were made, what were these commits, etc. Hence, this particular command will really come into help. There is this extension of this command that you can see here, which I have mentioned. You can also use this command to get a beautiful image, like a tree view that you can see in the bottom. Okay, so how do we answer this question in the interview? Git logs are basically a command in GitHub that will help me to see the history of all the commits made in the repository. This particular command will be handy in case we have to go back in the history of our commits and pick certain commits and rebuild our application jar. In that case, these commands are really helpful to understand when and how these commits were made and to pick them properly. This is how you can answer this particular question in the interview. Let us see the next question now, but before that, let me let you know that if you are interested in preparing for DevOps interview, then reach me out to the email ID that you see on the screen, aweslearning at 1992 at gmail.com, and I can help you to prepare for DevOps interviews if it is required. Let's see the next question. And the next question is coming from the domain AWS. And the question is, what is bid price in AWS EC2 spot instances? A very basic and very fundamental questions, my friends. Again, in EC2, I am pretty much sure you have heard about spot instances. And in the interview here, they are checking your fundamentals on EC2. So in EC2, there are different pricing model and they want you to explain a bit more about spot instances. Very well, pause the video here if you are interested to see how you would answer it. But let me go ahead and first explain a bit more about what spot instances are and how to tackle this question in the interview. Amazon EC2 spot instances let you know the advantages. It's basically that it lets you to take an advantage of AWS EC2 or unused EC2 capacity in that region. Spot instances are available for 90% discount compared to on-demand instances, meaning they are really, really cheap. 
But there are certain drawbacks of this spot instances like you're already aware. That is, because they are really cheap and they're unused instance, let us say that somebody in a region wants 500 machines all of a sudden that is on demand. There might be a scenario that your spot instances might be taken away by AWS. And in this case, your application can fail. Now, what is a bid price in spot instances? In the screenshot that I have shared with you, you can see a beautiful graph of a machine type R4X large, correct? In this particular graph, you can see that there are uh, there is a comparison of on-demand and different spot prices in different availability zones. You can see the price varies, right? So what is a bid price? Bid price is a price that you have to tell when you are getting the spot instances, how much you are okay to pay to get this particular EC2 instances. So if, the on-demand price is uh, 0 0.29. And if you send a bidding for 0. Point, let's say 0 0.5, is it a good bid price? No, because this, good, uh, this bid price is less than the actual bid price, correct? So there is a very less chance you might get a spot instances. So what should be your bid price? Your bid price has to be more than the current spot instance price. So you can give like maybe $1 also, no problem. Or you can also give 0 0.400 cents also, which is also fine because it is greater than the current price. But what will you be paying? You will still pay the same spot instance price, but you are telling that you are okay till you reach this price. I will give you an example to make you understand this if you're getting confused, okay? Let us say that uh, you are trying to buy a vehicle or a car and there is a discount sale. When you go to the discount sale, uh, let's say that you have an idea, right? You say that, okay, I want to buy the car at the discount sale and the maximum I would like to pay is three lakhs. Now, just because you say the maximum is three lakhs, they will not increase their discount price, right? If the car is available for 2.5 lakh, or 2.5K, let's say, then they will sell it for 2.5K, but your budget was three lakhs. So take this example and you will understand this concept much better. Very well. So now that we have understood this particular concept, so how do you answer this particular question in the interview? Bid price in AWS EC2 spot instances is the amount that we are willing to pay to get this particular spot instance machine the higher the amount, there is a good chance that we might get this spot instances. On a side note, I would also like to add that just because we have given a high bid price, it doesn't mean we will pay that price for this machine. The machine pricing will be still based on the current spot price. The bid price only determines our willingness on how much we would be okay to buy this particular EC2 instance for. Or what pricing is okay for us to use this particular EC2 spot instances. I hope you understood these two questions today. And like I promised you in the earlier session, if you are interested in reaching out to me for a free DevOps career consultation, if you are wondering, I want to become a DevOps engineer, or if you have some questions on how I can crack DevOps interview or what I can do, I will give you a 30 minutes free time slot. And the link for that is in the description. You can reach out to me using that link. You can book a meeting with me by using that link. And we will be able to speak for 30 minutes for free of cost with me regarding your career development of becoming a DevOps engineer. I hope this video was helpful. Do like and subscribe. I will post more videos if you have liked my videos and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.